Vivaldi is all about customization. We want you to tweak and customize and adjust things in the browser and get it just right for you. And there's a lot that you can tweak and customize. There's a lot of settings and a lot of features to choose from. So we wanted to make it a little bit easier to get started by offering three different layouts and make it quicker for you to dive in and just get going. So today we're gonna to go through those three and tell you a little bit about what the differences are between them and how to get started. Let's go. So here's the screen that you'll see when you first fire up Vivaldi. How much Vivaldi do you want is the question we ask. And there's, there's three different options here. So let's start with essentials. The essentials option is for people who want a more private browsing experience, but they don't necessarily want to try out a bunch of new functionality right away. They don't need all of the bells and whistles out of the box uh, to get going. They just want to get into a new browser, use something that doesn't track them, has a good ad blocker, and a built-in translator as well. And then we have the classic option. So you get the same privacy tools as the essentials, so you still have the ability to block trackers and ads and do translations in the browser. And of course, we don't track anything about you. Um, but we also add a little bit of uh, the Vivaldi flavor. So we add in the panel, or we expose the panel on the sidebar here to give you a bunch of tools to play with. And we also expose the status bar at the bottom of the screen, you'll see. And you have things like page capture and the controls for creating split screen views and uh, page actions, as well as your zoom settings per page and the clock and you know a lot of things to play with, uh, basically, to give you a taste of what Vivaldi is all about. And then we have the fully loaded option. You get the panel and the status bar, as well as the fast forward and rewind buttons. So you have a few more tools to play with. Um, and in the panel, you have things like your bookmarks, your downloads, your history, you can see your, the notes panel, the window panel to control your tabs, um, web panels as well, so you can add custom sites to the sidebar. There's a lot going on there. And then in the status bar, you have break mode, you have the sync status, you have the page capture controls to capture full length website screenshots. You have the tiling controls to set up your split screen views of the different tabs. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> For example, if you start with classic and then down the line, you decide you're ready to try out mail calendar and feeds, then all you have to do is go to settings, scroll to the bottom of the general section, and there's a tick box there to enable mail calendar and feeds. Okay, so that was a quick overview of the different layouts you can choose when you first start up Vivaldi. So we have the essentials version, classic and the fully loaded. Everything's adjustable though. You have to remember everything is still available under the hood. You can go to your settings at any time and enable things and disable things and make it your own. And that's the whole point of Vivaldi. We want you to get in there and tweak things and find out what works best for you. So thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments and uh, maybe let us know which one you picked when you first installed Vivaldi.